You obviously, uh, John Jones is supposed to be the main event to this card. You obviously have a unique uh, relationship and history with him. What did you make of everything that happened to him? Ah, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. You know, he was a really good friend in college. We spent two years in the, sharing a bunk bag together. So I was hoping he was going to be here. I thought we were going to get to have a little, you know, uh, coming together again, you know, like in college when we were winning wrestling matches together. So it kind of sucks that that happened, you know, but, you know, I hope he learns from his mistakes. You know, I, I said on Twitter, you know, he, he you know, it's, it's unfortunate that he hasn't learned from his mistakes. And, you know, that's just, I wasn't trying to take a jab at it. I'm just, you know, I just being honest, you know, I wanted to learn from his mistakes and I want him as a person to be able to pull himself out of this. Just, I think it's just hilarious how fake he is. And now he's trying to act like he's a baby face hero. Dude, you're a scumbag, dude. You were just shooting guns, getting a DUI last week, man. Where, where were you at when the cops were there, you know? You were just wrapping a Bentley around a pool with two hookers in the back while your wife and kids were at home. Where were you then? All your steroids you've done, all the cocaine you've done. Man, you're not a good guy. You're not a hero, John. Stop trying to act like you're a hero. So it's pathetic. I mean, the guy's out there begging, you know, for money and this and that. And then all of a sudden, mysteriously, there's just a cameraman set up and, and he's, you know, He's the good guy again. He wants to be a babyface hero and look good for negotiations with Dana, his boss. So, you know, he, the guy's a complete joke. I mean, he doesn't deserve to be paid. I mean, look at look at his history. Look at his track record, man. The guy can't get out of his own way. I mean, it's one thing to make a mistake, but it's another thing to continually make the same mistake one after another, after another, after another, after another, after another. So the guy's a dirtbag, man. I mean, he shouldn't be paid anything. The guy shouldn't even be fighting. He should be suspended for his whole career. When you fail two or three steroid tests, I don't even know why he's still in the UFC. Definitely. I, I didn't do any hard sparring for this camp. You know, I just work with my buddy, Jorge Masvidal. Can't thank him enough for what he did for me. My sparring partner is Jorge Masvidal, my best friend. I train with him a lot, so I know where my skills are. I get to train with the best guys in the world at American Top Team. I'm just thankful for those guys. Journeyman Street Judas, Jorge Masvidal, live with All-American the god of wrestling, Colby Chaos Covington, for eight years we lived together, and he couldn't improve at all. I mean, I'm, I'm wiping the mats with him. Like, Dan, Dan Lambert would come into practice and pull out his phone and be like, here, look, I'm going to wipe the mats with him. And he couldn't do anything. George, get up, get up. Can't do anything. I'm just, like, slapping him in the face. I mean, there's multiple videos on the internet of me and him fighting in, in uh, hotel rooms and bathrooms and in living rooms, you know? I mean, the guy's, the guy's easy money. He, it's an easy fight for me, and and just because he's bringing in Bo Nickel, what the, what the, what's that going to do for him? The guy's the guy's way bigger than him, you know. He he's been wrestling with the All American the last eight years, and that didn't help him. He's still a 50-50 fighter at the end of the day. George Masvidal could win his next twenty fights in a row, James. I still would have a better winning percentage of him. So that's how much of a jobber and how much hype he has on him right now. That's all he is is hype, you know. So he could bring in whatever he wants as wrestlers, but when we get locked in the cage. And it's just me and you, buddy. That boat, that wrestler ain't gonna be able to help you. You know, you mentioned Dan Lambert. I'm curious, have you been watching The Ultimate Fighter? And uh, do you have any thoughts on his rivalry with Glenn Robinson? <laughs> uh, you know, I was there for most of the taping of the show, so I haven't really been watching it. You know, I, I don't like to get into the drama aspect of fighting. You know, I, I came here to get a belt, you know, so I don't want to really, you know, worry about the drama part. I just want to worry about getting better as a fighter each and every fight. One of the media, he was always looking to become famous, so he should be happy that I made him famous. You know, look at look at what, it, you know, he's, he's a fraud. He's a fake. He, 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 you know, he had a bunch, he had to file bankruptcy many times on his companies, and you know he was screwing people out of a lot of money. He didn't pay Marty Fake Newsman after he won the Ultimate Fighter when the UFC paid him like 250 grand. People don't know that story. They need to check more into that. He's not that good of a person. I train with Robbie Lawler. He's one of my main training partners. Hey, let's talk about the lesson we learned tonight. It's a strong lesson that Robbie should have learned from his good buddy Matt Hughes. You stay off the tracks when the train's coming through, Junior. Don't matter if it's a Trump train. Honestly, I'm being honest, like I train with the best guys in the world. I train with Woodley. But I was supposed to fight Tyron Woodley last December. He bitched out. He's he's hanging out in Hollywood. He's gossiping on, on Karda about the Kardashians and Justin Bieber. He needs to come if he's probably tired at home, he's probably still out of breath. So whenever he wants to come back and get a chance at my belt, I'm waiting for him. Let's do it in Madison Square Garden. I don't like to get into the drama aspect of fighting, you know, I, I came here to get a belt, you know, so I don't want to really, you know, worry about the drama part. I just want to worry about getting better as a fighter each and every fight. I should have knocked him out. Brazil, you're a dog. All you filthy animals suck. I got one thing to say. Tyrone Woodley, I'm coming for you. If you don't answer the front door, I'm going to...